guys, this is Artem, second day of DreamHack Summer 2015, and I'm here with, come with me, with team, from Team Burning United. Yeah. How man, how are you doing? Yeah hey man, good, I'm, I'm a bit tired, but hanging on. It works, right? <laughs> yeah, it works. Uh, could you please introduce yourself a bit to the Russian fans who are watching us right now? Who are you, what are you doing? Um, come with me, no, no, it's Alex maybe, Dota player, and I just play Dota. <laughs> what do you do besides Dota? Uh, well, in free time, I guess, I usually play some football with my friends, just go to some parties and just, just regular hanging out, you know, playing some CS, some FIFA and PS and stuff. Cool. Um, how is this dream hack is going for you? Uh, obviously, you've been on many dream hacks already. Games, games aside, uh, how's your experience so far? How was the travel? Nothing unusual or... Well, the travel is a bit long because we don't really have direct flights from Romania to here as far as I know. And then you fly to another city, not even this one. So I have to go from Romania to Netherlands, then to Sweden Göteborg, and then oh, you man. take another bus, yeah. and then another bus, and then you finally get here eventually. But, yeah, I mean... It works per game in yeah, life, yeah. right? It, it's a bit exhausting, but... I mean, you go to sleep and you find the next day. <laughs> it's worth it, for sure. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk a bit about your about your team, Burden United. So you guys appeared somewhere in February this year. Uh, who came up with this idea just to to gather the team and and rock? Well, I wanted to just play some Dota, you know, because mm -hmm. I was tired of playing pubs and stuff. And uh, I played some screens with some random people, and then I met Necroman, mm -hmm. and I thought I wanted to try him out. So I thought maybe I would make a mixed team and just play in some qualifiers or something. Mm -hmm. And then I just asked people that I thought would be good to play with. And this is how we ended up together. But initially we had Sexy Bamboo. Mm -hmm. And then there were some conflicts and one of the yeah, players didn't want... It happens. It happens yeah, yeah, him and another guy didn't want to play together mm -hmm. anymore and he just leave. Mm -hmm. And then we got socks. Um, the question I wanted to ask you for a long time, why, did you, why do you have this logo uh, of a squirrel on Berlin United? Why is it so? Who came up with this idea? It's because of my nuts, of course. Uh -huh. You know, the, the nuts holder. And it looks like a beaver too, right? And Sing Sing is... Uh, I never thought about that, but okay, that's, <laughs> that's, that's an interesting it's point. Just, there's a few resemblances to like player nicknames and mm. aliases and whatnot. Yeah. So after, after you guys formed the team, you've, you've dived in right into the action. You've been invited to many different tournaments uh, and you've been playing a lot. Uh, how how is it going for you? Like a lot of teams are stressed now, super stressed nowadays uh, because of the because of the tournaments. Some are saying that oh man, I just don't want to play so much stuff. I'll just like play one league. Uh, other other teams, other players are saying that that's like our career, right? That's what we are doing for for living. So, uh, what's the attitude in in your team? Well, right now nobody's motivated because obviously the qualifiers was a bummer for us, but. Me personally, I like playing and mm -hmm. I don't mind playing much. Like, if I have to play almost every day, it's fine. If I play every day, maybe it gets a bit too stressful. You know, you need like a day off or two. Mm -hmm. But let's say five days a week is fine if I play every day, I don't mind. And, uh, well, now we have to find motivation again, you know? Yeah. When you lose the main, like, you were focusing to win the qualifier and that was your main target, and then you lose, you need to find something new to look forward to. Mm -hmm. But we haven't found that yet, so. Yes, we're just hanging a bit now. Mm. We'll see how it's going, how it will go. Um, like recently, Valve announced this new major system, so they want to like fix the situation with the uh, oversaturation of the tournament uh, and uh, and all, all this stuff. Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, did you already like like read about it? Did you talk with with, with your teammates and other players about it? Well, it's going to bring more stability, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to look to change players constantly because you won't be allowed to anyways. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make teams want to work out their issues mm -hmm. instead of just yeah. moving on Makes all the sense. time. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it should increase the level of play a bit more. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a lot more interest in playing now. Yeah, that's true. Before, you would be like, okay, there's eight months where we have to play, but we don't have to play many tournaments, we just need mm -hmm. some decent results, and if the results are good enough, you get an invite for TI, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you just need to start practicing a few months before to get in shape. But I, I hope Majors is going to change it, mm -hmm. it's going to be better. Okay, so let's say if there will be like three major tournaments uh, in a year besides uh, TI, that means that you guys will need to uh, choose which tournaments and leagues uh, you want to play, and you will 
you'll have to decline some invitation to another tournament. Uh, so in this case, uh, what would be for you the most important thing in a tournament uh, to, to decide if you're going to play it or not, like prize pool or maybe length of the tournament or something else? Well, I mean, now from, aside from the obvious stuff, like prize pool and yeah. like whoever's attending and stuff, I would say we would probably look for the most comfortable tournaments, like close to us, mm -hmm. so most likely Europe as much as we can. And then if you are to go to foreign lands and maybe just one in America, one in China, mm -hmm. just to get the feeling of the other teams. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's just me, but I prefer traveling close, you know? Yeah. It's nicer. Um, you mentioned before that you are playing CSGO. Uh, like, I, I really noticed that like most, almost all the other two players are playing CSGO. Are, are you following the scene or are you just like playing casually in your free time? Uh, I watch sometimes, but mm -hmm. not so often, I guess. I watch Dota most of the time. Yeah. I don't have too much time for CS, time for I guess. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I like the game. It's nice. I enjoy playing it. Um, do you play any other games, like maybe some casual stuff, something not competitive like Dota or CSGO? Uh, what's the new game called from Blizzard? The, the uh, Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, I played a few games of that with my real life friends. They played all the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I played like five games maybe, so mm -hmm. it's, it's not much. But no, aside from that, I only play like Dota and then some mm -hmm. CS in between. That's all. What do you think about Heroes? Uh, because that's like the new generation, the new game of like this uh, kind of MOBA genre, but not exactly because there are some like, obviously there are some difference uh, from Dota, League of Legends. Uh, what do you think about the game? Do you think it has potential like uh, as an esports or? I mean, it can work, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. At some point, like any game can work as long as it's, I don't know, it looks nice and there's good competition, but the game doesn't seem to be so complex. Mm -hmm. So let's just say it's not as challenging as other games. And it can get a bit boring, I suppose. Mm. But uh, yeah, I, I don't like. Th that's the only thing I don't like about it, you know. That's why I play Dota, because there's always so much stuff you have to think about, and it's nice to have a challenge. Uh, do you play any other, like maybe single-player games, or uh, it's all about like multiplayer for you? No, just multiplayer. I don't like solo games. It's, it's, I don't know. You're just playing alone. What's what's the fun in that, you know? Yeah. No competition, right? No action. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've been on the scene for quite a while, like since 2008 uh, or so. Uh, what did change since then, like in the in the pro scene, in Dota 2? Like maybe some some good points uh, which you like, maybe some bad points which you don't like, because you know many people are saying that now it's like all about the money, you know, sell out boys and also not. I mean. In a way it is, but it's a business scene, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you have to think like that. So if you think about it, most of the players that commit to playing, mm -hmm. they stop their studies so they yeah. can focus on the game. And then it has to be profitable because otherwise you just end up wasting all your time and mm -hmm. you don't get anything. But yeah, I don't I guess what I don't like about this scene is maybe there's a bit too many tournaments actually. Maybe, tournaments, maybe, yeah. but I'm not sure, I mean. You can always not play in all of them, if anything. Yeah. It just feels like if there's too many tournaments, the quality will drop of the tournaments too, and then the audience is like not so hyped anymore. But it also depends uh, on the teams, because, uh, I mean, some teams, they just can decline the invitation to the tournaments. Do you think uh, what would be the right, what, be the, what would be the best decision to fix the situation? Should the team just like start dropping off the tournaments and saying like, hey guys, we want to concentrate like on one, two leagues maybe, or or what should they do? I mean, I think that's what's going to happen anyway with the majors coming, right? Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot less tournaments and I think the top teams are going to look to play as little as they can so mm. they can just focus on the majors. Mm. Okay, well, man, thank you very much for the interview and uh, good luck uh, in the near future. Hope you'll find motivation and the power to stay together and play more and rock the scene. Any shout outs, greetings to your fans, friends? Yeah, shout out to Darkwish. He's, uh, he's one of our, I don't know, he's like a friend of us and he's been watching me and Sing for like years. And we usually talk a lot to him, you know, just about the game. He's a really cool guy. All right, thank you. I I hope he'll uh, he'll see this interview. Yeah. Hey, thanks man. Take care.